keep watching if you want to see this flapper inspired head to toe look. I got a lot of requests this year for Great Gatsby inspired, so that's where I pulled inspo from. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like my prompt tutorials and that you're subscribed for more beauty videos every week. And let's get into the makeup. To start off, I'm just breezing through the base steps, so I'm priming my skin and then adding my favorite foundation. I love the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation and I like to apply it with a damp beauty blender. Then of course I always go in and add a little bit of highlighting under my eyes, on my forehead, chin and nose as well as jawline and I'm prepping my lids for shadows. Just wanted to go that quick because you guys see it every time. And now I'm just setting my face with a bit of candlelight powder. You can use a matte powder as well, I just love this one. And now for a bit of bronzer. This isn't a super bronzy look, but I did want to give some dimension to the face because it's prom and you want to make sure your face structure stands out in photos. I apply underneath my cheekbones, jawline, down my neck, a little bit on my temples, and then I love to contour my nose. I just slim down the bridge and shade under the tip, and then I love to go in with a highlighter. Here I'm using Max Soft and Gentle on the tip of my nose bridge, and then I'm going in with a bright pink blush, but I'm not applying too much, just to the apples there, and to finish it off a little bit more soft and gentle on the cheekbones. So that's it for skin, and now we can get in to the fun part. 1920 brows were very thin and arched like a half moon, but we're gonna keep it a little bit more natural and modern, so I'm just lightly filling in my natural brows. I first went in with the CoverGirl brow and eye makers, and then I took a slightly darker shade and rimmed along the bottom of my brow and then just brushed it out with some brow gel to make sure they stayed in place. Now for shadows, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I've been using this a ton in recent tutorials. And the first shade I'm using is Pecan Praline, which is like a milky soft gray shade. And I'm applying this all over to the lid and then blending out with Almond Truffle, which is a soft muted purpley shade. And this is just going to make it easier to blend over top of it. Next we're going deeper. I'm taking the Earl Grey shadow, which is a very deep tealish blue, and I'm starting with applying it in my outer V. And as I go into the crease, I'm creating a little bit of a different shape than I normally do. So as I'm blending, I'm having it dip downwards and then upwards a little bit above my crease as I go towards the upper brow. And then I'm fading it in in the inner corner as well. And this is going to give a sort of sad eye effect when you have it deeper in the outer corner and lower and then it dips down and it goes higher up close to your head of your brow. If that didn't make sense you can just round it out but this just gives a bit of a unique look. And then I added dark truffle, added a bit more of a warm shade in a deep bronze around the lash line as well as into the crease as well. I find bluish shades are a little bit hard to pull off so it's nice to have some bronze in there. This is a pretty simple look, just some blending for a smoky eye. And then I'm also bringing the bronze underneath the lash line and just flicking it out at the very outer corner. To give this look a little bit more pizzazz, I'm going in with MAC's Blue Brown Pigment. This is really unique and it has that teal punch to it, but then it also has that warm brown under, which I was kind of going for with the initial shadows. And I just wet my brush a bit, so I got this cool metallic look and I'm keeping it high on the center of the um, lid there and then blending downwards for this kind of metallic -y look. And this has a lot of fallout, so I just wiped it away with powder and did have to do some touch-ups, so it's better to have quite a bit of powder so you can just wipe it away. And then I added a highlight in the inner corner, and I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Liner. I really like this stuff, so I'm lining underneath my lash line, and then a tiny bit along the top lash line and rimming my tight line. Back at it again with the highlight shade. I'm using Divinity from this palette and applying quite a bit to the top of the brow bone and really packing it on so that the uh, crease shade doesn't go up too high. And then I've curled my lashes and I'm applying some mascara to the top and bottom lashes. And of course for prom, I really wanted to go in with a bang and add some false lashes. So these are the Jessie Pear from Ardell's Adore Me line. I'm just using some duo glue adhesive and this one's brush on so it's really easy to use. It applies in this kind of bluey shade and then I just stick it in the center of the lid, let it sit for a second and then apply it to the outer and inner corner. 
was struggling with these false lashes today, but once I finally applied them, I like to blend my natural and false lashes together with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This also amplifies the look of the falsies, and I like to coat my bottom lashes too for a very bold eye look. And even though the eyes are bold, we're doing a bit of a bold lip as well because it's very 1920s. So with Burgundy Lip Pencil from MAC, I am making sure that my cupid's bow is prominent and then just lining around my upper lip and bottom lip as I normally would and fading it in a little bit. And to top it off, I'm using the shade Amoris, hopefully I'm saying that right, from MAC. This is really pretty and you can leave it like this. I thought it was a little too deep for me to have both the eyes and lips, but it depends on what you're going for. So I went in with a lighter gloss just to brighten it up a bit and I love glosses. I always feel really pretty wearing them, but you can totally keep it matte. It's up to you. And here is the finished makeup look. can be made more sexy with long tousled hair paired with the deep makeup or you can rock a shorter faux bob to really bring together the 1920s theme with a headpiece. So to start I'm applying Not Your Mother's Deja Vu Hair Primer Style Extender to the lengths and ends of my hair. I love the smell of this and of course brush your hair out so it's free of any tangles. Have your hair parted to the side and then make sure at the back the part doesn't trail off so you can add a little bit of teasing to ensure that the hair stays laying backwards. Now divide your hair into two sections and with a medium sized curling wand, this one is from Conair, roll up the curl, hold for a couple seconds and then release. Let it cool in its shape for a longer lasting style just in your hand and then pin the curl in half so you have a loop and then the curl at the bottom and this will be the length of a bob. It does depend on how long your hair is, how you can do this, but if your hair is shorter you can always make the loop a little bit smaller so that you have the curl at the place where you want it and just hide the loop a little bit more. This is actually pretty quick and easy and I like to brush out the curl on this under layer for a fluffy look and I'm also adding some shine spray to the ends as I go. Take down the rest of the hair and for this upper layer, pin the hair in half to shorten it by looping it on top of the head so it's not going to just droop down like the ones before but lie flat against the head. And then I kept adding to this initial loop I created and the final curl at the front, I swooped it over to hide the loop in the bobby pins, giving a swooping shape. So here's the first side done. I'm just adding a little bit of hairspray. And on the other side again, curl, pin in half so you have a loop and a curl at a similar length like a bob. And on the last curls at the front, I'm creating a swooping bang look. Just using trial and error, I'm just making sure all the curls fall nicely and that I don't have any long ends sticking out. Just add a little hairspray. Pantene's Air Spray is one of my go-tos. I like to tweak around the crown of my head for some volume because I hate teasing. And then I added this gorgeous and comfortable headpiece from Claire's to complete the hair look. Here's my whole Great Gatsby themed look together. This beautifully detailed dress is from ModCloth.com. They have a 1920 section with similar styles, so I'll have a link down below to that. Headband, as I said, is from Claire's. Earrings from Le Chateau. And this necklace I borrowed from my mom, but I saw lots of black sets like this from Le Chateau. For nails, I went nude with a little sparkle, and I added some simple and comfortable black pumps for dancing in, and there you have it. Make sure you stay tuned to the end for bloopers because there's a lot of them. down below and if this isn't what you're looking for for prom I have a whole prom playlist 
where I've done like tons of videos over the years so you can check that out and scroll through and see what you like. And also make sure you're checking me out on Tumblr, Tumblr, I barely use Tumblr, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, so that you can stay updated with me and see what videos are coming up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. That was cute. You weren't watching. No, you weren't. Yeah, That's so embarrassing. Don't, don't do that again. Please, please. I'm okay. not a model. I can't do it. Okay. Can you pull my bra? No, you better not. It's gonna silently judge. Don't watch. Are you filming right now? Yeah. Did you press the button? Yeah, I did. Oh. Why not? Oh no, you have to see. Go. Oh wait, wait, wait. wait. Go. <laughs> I don't know what. Do it exactly okay, okay. when you look at me. You look at me like three times. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.